What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Scott Rose Fishing. So, I totally forgot to make an intro this morning, but I spent the early afternoon peacock bass fishing with my parents, putting them there on, putting them on their first peacocks. They're in town for the next few days. Uh, I ended up meeting up with Byron and we did a little bit of bed fishing too. And then we went and got lunch, me and my parents. So I only spent about two hours sitting down in the water. Uh, this afternoon and evening now, it's already 6 p.m. We are, I'm meeting up with a good friend, Chris, and we're gonna do some nighttime snook fishing. Uh, we're doing, I'm making a bit of a drive, not fishing my local water here to do this, so I'll keep you guys in the loop and hopefully I'll be able to film. I'm not sure how the lighting's gonna be. Yeah, and I forgot to add, uh, obviously considering I already knocked out the peacock bass fishing today. I'm gonna show that stuff first, and then I will go straight to our snook fishing, which is coming up. Got it. Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna let go. <laughs> Just pulled myself out of my hand. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Things you do for a for a half dead shiner with no head when that's the only one you got. That's nuts. You have, you have none left. There's one more in there, I think. Oh, this thing is so ready to eat. Byron just came really, really close. That thing had the bait in his mouth, right? Yeah. Just didn't didn't come tight. It's so tough. He's not really like. He's, he's not, not eating it. Yeah. Like... Good. Yeah, it is, dude. Pull it left, Adam. Do you just, eat? dude? I think he's. Yeah, there we go. Nice job, dude. That's just crazy. All right. Do you want me to do a land job? Sure. Here, focus this on him. Hold this out in halfway hold? just to yep. keep it focused. Here, right here, right here, right here. Dude, you need me to hold you? No. A lot smaller than I originally thought. Good <laughs> fish, nonetheless. Woo! Need a hand, dude? That's a big fish. Oh. Yes, dude. Go <laughs> that is a fish. That's a peacock right there. Yeah, check this out. Woo. Byron just worked probably 45 minutes for this fish. Wow. Beauty. Did you swallow it? No. Perfect hook. Six. Right on the dot. Yep. Six pounder. That's a nice fish, dude. Pretty coloring. Let's be. Hey, bees. Definitely have to work for that guy. He's ready, dude. Sweet. Hopefully he goes right back down. I doubt it, though. All right, so. Thanks for watching all the peacock action today. Now we're up to round two, targeting this snook. Um, yeah, so this snook bite, I really have no idea what to expect. It's not a, a style of targeting these fish that I've ever experienced. I have caught a bunch of snook before, but not in the way that we're gonna do it. So this is gonna be pretty cool. I really have no idea what we're gonna be doing, and I wanna thank Chris again for taking me out and showing me. I'm out here with Chris. We're gonna hey. do some some nighttime snook fishing. Chris, so what, give, give us your rundown. What's up, guys? Welcome to another exciting episode of SRF Scott Rose Fishing. You know, we're on <laughs> a really good snook fight right now. So I told my buddy Scott, and we're out here on somebody's uh, water land. We're gonna be sneaking out the properties and pulling big fish. All right, we're gonna do the patented FPS, the FPS method. That's flipping, pitching, sticking. All right, so we're gonna be ripping them out of the docks, guys. All right, so stay tuned. All right, that was perfect. Let's get at it. So we're doing something a little different tonight. Now, it's really beautiful out here. It's really hard to uh, obviously see anything because it's so dark, but that's what makes it so cool. Now we're gonna be doing a bit of dock light fishing tonight, really targeting these fish where they congregate up in the lights, throwing artificial lures as well as uh, live shrimp for them. Chris has been on this bite for probably, what do you think, like the last month or so? You've been getting them for like the last month? Yeah, for about a month we've been on them. Yeah. All right, Chris, what do you nail that fish on, dude? What artificial? Dude, Savage Gear shrimp. First first nook of the night. Savage Gear. Absolute 
beast, dude. You're gonna get a measurement on him. That's yeah. definitely an overslot for sure. This is overslot, man. Let's see the. Come here. See right there. You got the Savage Gear right in his mouth. That's awesome. Yeah, we thought we had our lines. <laughs> this is so insane. Our lines were tangled up. So Chris just said, "Screw it." And he handlined this thing in while he was still 20 yards away. Dude, it was a little googan moves. I uh, was in absolute fear, dude, that I screwed us on that fish, but yeah. let him go. The first nook of the night, we measured him. It's 33 inches, inch over slot. He's good, man. Kick oh, it. that's awesome, dude. So anyway, man, just uh, we're out here, you know, doing this fish FPS. Flipping, pitching, sticking. There he goes. Oh man, that was so cool, dude. I'm still lighting him up so well. Yo, nice shot, dude. A little like tangle with the lines. You know, they're two color, they both have yellow braid right now. So, you know, this is actually two different reels like tangled up and uh, had to like just decide to uh, uh, just hand line this guy in because, you know, I needed to keep that pressure especially with uh, you know, artificial. Yeah. What's up guys? Flipping, pitching, uh, sticking, Scott Rose. Hooked up. Hooked First. Up to a nice neck. So right now we're taking a look at him. Yeah, All right guys, this guy is at least like 35, 40 inches. Pulling him up. Look at this, man. Cool. This guy's trying that to remember, awesome, dude. remember what the saltwater fish pool like over here. <laughs> yeah, I thought this thing was a little bigger than he ended up being, but wow, man, beautiful fish. Beautiful fish, dude. Let me tell you something, guys. I was uh, telling Scott we needed to move, and uh, he was like, I want to try this light. So you know what? You tell your friends, you got to hit a light, you hit a light, all right? Don't let anyone tell you not to hit a light. So, sure enough. Look at that, man. That's awesome, dude. So I promised him a snook, and we got it. So let's uh, let's get this guy a little. Let's get some still shots and the release. You just press that red button. All right, guys, getting the release right now. Beautiful snook. Sending him off. Sending him off, Scott. That was awesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good, man. That really was. Dude, you got when you guys when you gotta hit a light, you gotta hit a light. You know, it's it's a little choppier out today, and we're having trouble really seeing them. And so you know, sometimes you see it, you get that comfort that they're there. And uh, you ready? You know, luckily Scott's been fishing some of these canals where you can't see too much, and he had the confidence to stay, stick it out. Wow, man. I feel like we stole that <laughs> fish, dude. That was so cool. I feel like we stole it. That really was so cool. Oh, man. All right, Scott just landed his second fish of the night. We just got him in the net. It's a true monster, this guy. Another monster snook with the FPS system, guys. You guys gonna look, wait for this, uh, wait for the book to come out. So. Ready? Ready, pull this him guy. up, pull him up. Oh, dude, no, don't strain your back, man. Yo, Scott's gonna be sore in the morning, dude, ripping these guys out. That's a big one. No, I mean, any snook is a good snook, especially how we're doing it at night. Yeah, it's no. just a really, really cool experience. You know, and we're, we're out here really, guys, in some tough conditions. This is not typically what you know what we like to see. We, uh, we got a little bit more chop than we like, and it's hard to really visually see these guys, so we've had to slow down our approach. You know, getting the good release. It's so cool how they hold on just like a bass would do. Oh man, if you guys ever you know release a snook, let him hold on to your thumb. He'll let you know when he's ready. But uh, man, so I mean, Scott's been—you should see his face, man. This guy is tough to get him to giggle sometimes, and he's been—he's <laughs> been giggling. He's been giggling. Oh, there he goes. Nah, this has been pretty cool. All right, well, let's, keep at it. let's do it. All right, snook number four of the night. All right, guys, pulling him out. Savage gear strikes again. We're working the artificial a lot tonight. Uh, you know, passing up some some live bait opportunities, but it's been worth it, man. Got my second snook of the night on a on a savage gear, and I'm feeling real pumped, dude. This guy not as big as the first one, but what are you gonna do, man? FPS system flipping, sticking, sticking. <laughs> so let's get him going. This is honestly a blast, guys. You know, there's dock lights all around Florida, and it's really easy to do. You just go out at night. And hit some dock lights. This is just super simple. Tons of ways to do it, and yeah, really, really fun. All right, we're releasing snook number four of the night. Awesome. 
Nice job, dude. Thanks, man. All right, so we got a little nice little double up here, snapper. Uh, Jack, just showing you guys some of the bycatch that we're seeing out here today. Uh, the Jack took another bite of that Savage gear. It's been doing pretty good tonight. You know, I'm a straight artificial fly guy myself. Never used. I'm just kidding. Uh, no bad, <laughs> no bad, no bad words. Anyway, so nice little bycatch. Probably, you, know, you think a 12, 13 inch snapper. I'm gonna change. One sec. Holy. Tarpon, dude. Oh, you know, it might not even be a tarpon. It might be a. What is that? It's huge. All right, guys. So it's 2 a.m. Actually, the night after we went for snook yesterday, I'm sitting here editing this video and realizing I never did an outro. So we, I ended the video at that dock light where I was saying we were looking at a tarpon, and Chris actually hooked him. It was about a 40 pound tarpon. He ended up ch jumping the hook way before I could get the the camera rolling. So just gotta take my word on that. It was a real good night. We got four snook, jumped that tarpon, got a bunch of mangroves, jacks, on and on. So if you guys really like this saltwater stuff, just let me know in the comments and I'll start making more of it. And thanks again, guys, for all the subscribers. We're at 420-something now, and I've been at this for maybe about a week and a half or so. So that's really amazing. I appreciate it a lot. So keep liking, keep commenting, keep subscribing. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again on another night.